now we'll wait okay for 2 minutes then we'll start again we'll start अजून थोडं जवळ होत गोड कृपा दिसत आहे हॅलो हॅलो गोड कृपा दिसत आहे थोडा हॅलो यू कॅन राईट इन चॅट बॉक्स नाव if you have any doubt you can write in chat box i will answer okay okay now how many participant joined 29 okay we'll wait because we have again started na so we'll wait and then in last lecture we have seen in last lecture we have seen types of distance relay okay in last lecture we have seen types of distance relay okay out of that main types are impedance reactance and mo okay then angle impedance quadrilateral relay these are also relay we have seen okay out of this we have three important relay that is impedance reactance and mo that means impedance is z impedance is z okay where we measure we measure the quantities we measure the two quantities voltage and current okay it is related with r plus jx okay now second is admittance it is y it is y it is 1 by z and then reactance then reactance it is only x x okay so we have seen x y z we have seen x y z x is reactance y is admittance z is impedance okay we have seen this in last lecture what is you know it okay we have drawn the characteristics also okay how the characteristics is that we have already seen it okay in impedance relay the characteristics is imped in impedance relay the characteristics is the characteristics is this is your characteristics on x axis r on y axis x characteristics is circle which inscribes the origin okay which inscribes the origin this is your fault pointer this is your set value this is your set value okay okay if fault in between this from zero to this set value the relay will detect and it will give tripping signal to the circuit breaker okay if it is in between zero to z set okay that this you call it as a z set okay if suppose fault if you consider transmission line suppose we will consider single input system we have different feeders we have different sections okay now if i draw if you consider fault is here f1 fault and this fault this is our set value we are generally protecting 80% part so this is our z set okay this is our set value if fault lies within this set value then that fault point is inside the circle tripping region is inside the circle tripping region is inside the circle okay if any fault point lies then the relay will operate okay this already we have seen it okay this already we have seen it in admittance in admittance relay tripping region is again inside the circle but characteristics characteristics is circle passing through origin characteristics is circle passing through origin this is our 1 by z 1 by z is 
y. Okay, this is again set value. This is our set value. Y set or you can call one by z. It is set. You can call it as any constant. This set value. Okay. Then if fault point again same fault point within zone, the relay will operate. Okay. For reactance relay, for reactance relay, tripping region below the line. Tripping region below the line. Okay. Now in reactance as resistance is absent, so that's why, that's why, that's why this characteristic is parallel to R. This already we have seen in last lecture. Okay. We have realized this characteristic using universal torque equation. Using universal torque equation. Okay. Now, what is next point? What we have to discuss in this? Okay. As I told, as I told, we have two basic concepts: underreach and overreach. Underreach and overreach. What is underreach and what is overreach? If you consider now this. In last, also we have discussed. We have. I have asked you question. Why, why we are using or uh, we are having three types of uh, transmission line: short transmission line, medium transmission line, as well as long transmission line. Okay. In short transmission line, we are neglecting resistance. We are neglecting resistance means we can consider it as a zero resistance. Okay. So. In which characteristics we have zero resistance? You have given the answer in last lecture that in reactance relay we have the resistance is absent. So definitely the reactance relay will use for the short transmission line. Okay. This will use for short transmission line. Now this is one reason. Another reason is in short transmission line when we consider ground to face to face fault as well as face to ground fault then in that case the resistance of that if you consider face to ground fault if you consider face to ground fault then that ground fault involves then ground fault involves resistance of arcing resistance that is uh, due to flash over due to flash over due to um, flash that arc resist that arc pulsate is between face to face fault as well as Face to ground fault, so that have resistance. Okay, so that means that arc resistance, as well as as well as your, if it is ground fault, then earth resistance, tower resistance, tower footing resistance, earth return return, return path resistance. These all resistances get included get included in the impedance seen by the relay. Impedance seen by the relay means. Z is equal to R plus J X. This Z is Z is equal to R plus J X. Okay, so this all resistances get included in this. Okay, so that's why what happens. That's why what happens if this extra resistances get included. This extra resistances get included in the impedance seen by the relay. In the impedance seen by the relay. Again, I will consider feeder. We have protecting only 80% part. I have considered 80% part. Okay. Suppose fault is at this point. Okay. Where fault is, where fault is at, at this end. Okay. Near to the, near to our 80% line. Okay. Near, suppose fault point is at 70%. Then due to this, if suppose Line to ground fault is there. So, what will happen? This arc resistance plus tower footing resistance plus tower resistance plus earth return path resistance get included in this. So, because of this, because of this, because of this, this Z will increase. This Z seen by the relay will increase. If Z seen by the relay will increase, that means what happens? That means what happens? You can write in chat box whether relay will operate or not operate. You can write in chat box whether relay will operate or not operate. Fault point is here. Fault point is here. Resistance get included. So what will happen? 
this is our end this is our set value so what will happen what will happen whether that fault get detected or not reply you can see the blackboard you can see blackboard what is your answer on this or whether you got this this is because of underage this is because of underage okay so what will happen in this what will happen in this if fault point is here if fault point is here then due to addition of this resistance the relay will not operate this will go beyond the set value and if z set is greater if z seen is greater than the z set the relay is relay will not operate what is the trip uh, law for this z seen must be less than z set to so the relay will not operate okay got it or not then why you have triplied my board is visible na So you got or not? Because I am not getting whether you got this or not. Okay. If you reply, then I can move ahead because these two concepts are very important concept. These two concept, okay? Harshal, Ankush, Amrapali. He replied, okay. So, so due to this, due to this underage, underage means what? Fall point is fall point is within the zone. fault point is within what is expected relay operation what is expected relay operation under reach under reach means what the relay expected operation is the fault point lies in within the zone but due to this arc resistance even though fault point lies within the zone relay will not operate okay this is under reach okay so due to this due to this effect of arc resistance due to due to this effect of arc resistance relay under reaches relay under reaches that means even though fault point within the zone the relay will not operate okay now this we have seen in case of impedance reactance impedance more as well as reactance relay now i will draw these three characteristics on one plane okay now you have to tell me which relay operate you have to tell me which relay operate which relay get least affected by arc resistance which relay get most affected by arc resistance and which relay get moderately affected by arc resistance i will combine this all three characteristics okay i will combine all characteristics yes now this is your fault line will consider f1 fault this is f1 fault this is f2 fault and this is f3 fault 
Now for fault at F1, for fault at F1, this is your impedance relay, this is your more relay and this is your reactance relay. X, Y, Z. X, Y, Z operates. For fault at F2, for fault at F2, it, this region comes here. Okay. So it is beyond Mo. It is beyond Mo. So which relay will operate? Impedance as well as reactance. Impedance Z as well as reactance. For fault at F3, for fault at F3, which relay will operate? Only X. Okay. Now, suppose if you add, if you add R resistance, if you add R resistance, this is your impedance line. R resistance, resistance get added like this. Okay. So, our final ZC is addition of this Z fault plus R, R will be ZC. Okay. This is your this is your ZF fault resistance. In that arc resistance get added and this is our ZC. This is our ZC. Okay. ZF plus R. R is equal to ZC. Okay. So here, if suppose this get added, then this is our ZC. It lies inside the region. If suppose this, then again resistance get added for this, for this, it lies. If suppose resistance get added, then this is our ZC. Okay. So for fault at F1, for fault at F2, for fault at F3, you can see, you can see for fault at F1, for fault at F2 and for, for, for fault at F1. For fault at F1, for fault at F1, this R, R get added, okay? This R, R get added and this is our ZC, okay? Now this point lies inside the circle as well as inside the circle as well as below the reactance, right? So all reactance relay, admittance relay and Z impedance relay will operate, okay? Now if you consider fault at F2, this fault at F2, okay? If you consider fault at F2, then this R, R get added, this Z, okay. So, this is on the verge of, for impedance, this is on the verge of operation. Why? It is below the reactance line, so this X will operate, but it is beyond the operation of Mo. So, your Mo relay, so Y is absent here, okay. For fault at F3, it is outside these two circles. So, only X will operate. Okay. So, you tell me due to which relay get least affected, which relay get least affected by arc resistance. Least affected by arc resistance. Reply. Reply in chat box. Reply in chat box. Reactance relay. Good. Nikhil Himanshu. Nikhil Himanshu. Very good. Manthan. Okay, so reactance relay is least affected. So that's why reactance relay we are using where effect of arc resistance is more. Where effect of arc resistance is more in case of short transmission line, where line resistance is greater than the source resistance or source impedance, 
their line resistance is greater than the source impedance or uh, your fault path resistance have considerable value okay there we are using a reactance relay there we are using reactance relay so for short transmission line we are using reactance relay and which relay is most affected by the by the uh, arc resistance you can see here which relay get most affected for fault at f1 we are getting impedance for fault at f2 and f3 we are uh, we are not getting admittance relay okay we are not getting admittance relay so that means it is not detecting affected means it is not detecting the fault for fault at f2 and for fault at f3 so so more relay is most affected so more relay is most affected affected by arc resistance okay so we are we are not using more relay admittance relay for short transmission line okay now okay you got it now we'll switch over to the next concept okay we'll switch over to the next now i will drop this and we'll switch over to the next concept that is effect now this arc resistance is given by formula this arc resistance is given by formula 20 into l divided by r rest to 1.4 okay r r rest to 1.4 okay this r r we are we are getting 29 into 10 to the power 3 into l divided by r rest to power 4 l is length l is length of arc in meters okay by this formula we are getting r arc resistance okay now we'll switch over to the next concept that is effect of power swing on the performance of the distance relay effect of power swing on the performance of distance relay effect of power swing on performance of distance relay okay now power swing is what i will first to where two generators are swinging with each other okay if number of generators are connected then this z1 as well this is impedance of this first generator again second then this is impedance of this second generator okay zl is the line impedance okay here relay is located again here relay is located so you can see current flowing through this will be given by pa this is having emf induced okay then ea minus eb upon z plus z plus z b total impedance z plus z plus z b okay this you call it as a z t total impedance okay then this v voltage at relay location will be v is equal to a voltage at relay point okay is equal to ea minus i z l ea minus i z l okay ea am video is flowing in i so this drop get minus ea minus i z l okay now z you can write as z you can write as z is equal to v by i is equal to ea minus i z a 
upon i so so you can this i i will get cancelled so it will be ea upon i minus za ea upon i minus za now if you put finally you will get this z will be z will be if you divide by e a into z t upon a minus e b minus z a now z if suppose this a by e b is replaced by and okay and it is a leaves by e b by delta then then this will be written as z is equal to n e raised to power j del j del upon n e raised to power j del minus 1 z t minus z a okay now i will explain this i will explain this hello hello ma'am video not visible i'm not visible uh but video is on oh, that means i think you have net problem okay 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 no problem no problem no problem can you hear me i will explain this i will show in ppt i will say in ppt or i will record on i will record and i will upload on youtube i will upload on youtube is it okay if video is not visible am i audible na i will record i will upload on okay i will upload video on youtube that you can see but now listen now listen i will explain i will uh, you, if if this board is not visible then leave it then leave it i will explain okay in that in a, in my youtube video you can see what i have written here okay now power swing what is this power swing as i told if you consider a transmission line which, which connects two generating station then current flowing through the transmission line depends upon the phase difference between the voltage generated at the two ends of the line then in that case the phase difference is is equal to rotor angle the phase angle between the generated voltages changes during disturbances which may arise because of this changes will be because of the sudden removal of the fault or sudden changes in the load during disturbances during this disturbances the rotor of the generator rotor of the generator means what rotor of the generator swings swings around the final steady state value rotor of generator swings around the final final steady state value that means del will swing okay that means del will change when the rotor swings the rotor angle changes means del changes and the current flowing through the transmission line also changes and this have very large magnitude okay these currents have very large magnitude and these currents are called as power swing or power surges but this is not a fault due to removal of the fault or due to sudden changes on the load we are getting inrush of current we are getting high magnitude of current and this high magnitude of the current get get sensed by the relay okay if it is above the set value the relay will operate that means the relay will mal operate the relay will not mal operate in case of in case of in case of distance relay in case of impedance relay in case of reactance relay in case of more relay 
z is equal to v by i if your current is incre increasing abruptly current is increasing abruptly that means z will decrease according to ohm's law z is equal to v by i if current increases z will decrease z will decrease means what we have set value of impedance we have set value of admittance we have set value of reactance if z increase if the current can increase that means z will decrease y will decrease x will decrease and we have set value of impedances so it decreases means impedance seen by the relay reactance seen by the relay or admittance seen by the relay is less than the set value even though it is not a fault even though it is not a fault so the relay will operate this concept is called as overreach overreach means what there is no fault but relay is operating but relay is operating the fault point you can consider fault point outside the zone fault point outside the zone still relay is operating this is overreach due to this overreach due to this overreach the relay get mal operate okay now the characteristics of this power swing the characteristics of power swing passes from your fourth quadrant to the second quadrant okay as you are, you are not able to see this blackboard so so you are not able to uh, see how what characteristics i have drawn or what characteristics how it looks how power swing looks okay so in that you know four quadrant in last lecture already we have seen 1 2 3 4 okay the characters power swing characteristic for impedors for bore and for reactors okay it this characteristics passes from your fourth quadrant to the second quadrant okay that means it covers like this okay it will go when your n n is ea by n is ea by eb ea is generated voltage and eb is Uh, generated voltage by generator b okay it is n is ea by eb when n is equal to 1 the characteristics is set straight line when n is less than 1 the characteristics covered our uh, second and fourth uh, fourth quadrant okay if n is greater than 1 it covers first and third quadrant okay so the characteristics is straight line which is going from fourth quadrant to the second quadrant while going this it crosses all the it passes through the all characteristics impedance reactance and more okay so as more relay have less portion as more relay have less portion on rx plane so this more relay is least affected by the power swing while um impedance relay have greater area on rx plane than the more relay so it is moderately affected by the power swing while reactance relay as it is a straight line and which covers all four quadrant it is most affected by the power surges or power swings so we are not using reactance relay for long transmission line where we have power swings when two generators swings with each other when del changes and which causes i to change okay because of this we are not using reactance relay for long transmission line and we are using admittance relay or more relay because it covers less portion on the rx plane so we are using more relay for long transmission line okay and what about impedance as we covered reactance relay as well as more relay so impedance relay we are using for medium transmission line okay got it i will upload video on youtube you got it this deep line chat box where we are using which type of relay okay good ankush okay okay so 
uh, now abid abid you joined late i think na uh. okay now i will upload this video late night on youtube you can watch it i will upload this lecture 13 video on youtube you can watch it okay now i am ending the meeting okay